I believe in time, and so it's good that you are here. So um, I am about to proceed from the door, from the entrance of the door, and I'll be asking um, my assistant will be with others, officials will be here, but not yet, but we can go on, and um, we ask the show to join us on the door. And so we will be taken from there. Amen, everybody.
Lord, we pray that your divine presence will fill this room now. That as we worship you, as we celebrate his life, that the glory of the Lord would come down. And if there be any who would come today who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, whether through a song, the spoken word, oh God, the appeal of the Holy Spirit, that they would acknowledge Jesus Christ. We bless you and we glorify you now. For those who are coming, we pray that you'll guide them to this place, oh God. Cover them, Lord, and protect them, oh God, for safe arrival. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you praise, for there is none like you. None can excel you, for in you dwell our fullness, and in you are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Take over now. And lead on, O King Eternal, through your son's name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise the Lord, everyone. Let's praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We'll be continuing at this time, and we'll be having our first scripture lesson. And this will be read by Margaret Brown, daughter of the deceased, taken from 1 Corinthians 15, from verses 52 to 58. And this mortal oh, yes. shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and mover, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who are? Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Scriptures that one of these days we shall be changed. Amen. Amen. It takes something to be changed from mortal to immortality, from corruption to incorruption. Hallelujah. At this time, we should have a selection from the choir. Uh, they'll tell you while we sing, everybody will just sing this song while the choir sort themselves up for the next one. Amen. A country where no twilight shadows deepen. On a deep day where night will ever be. As we
scripture will be coming to us from Psalm chapter 90, reading from verses 1 through to 12. This will be done by Toya and Kylie, grand and great granddaughters of the deceased. God bless them as they come in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm going to be asking you to please stand for the reading of the word of the Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past. And as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, Yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thy anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. This is the word of God. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. We are being reminded of the sound that our reading days are supposed to be three score and ten. And someone is here and he got some brattles, my grandmother was saying. Yes, man, because of reason of strength, he went on until uh, if I'm checking correctly about 92. God bless, amen. He's blessed to be living to that age. You know, I, I don't really mourn and feel too sad. I know as a family, you feel the pain. But when someone lives to this age, you give God glory. Uh, we are committing too many that are in their 20s. We are committing too many that are in their 30s and their 40s. Don't even begin life. But they are gone. But he lived a good and a happy life. God bless you today. Members of the family, just take comfort from that as you really, I know you'll be saved. It doesn't matter how long you had lived. You would want it an extra day and an extra week. But today, take comfort from the fact that it has gone beyond even what was ordained for men to be living. At this time, we'll be having a presentation to this will done by the Holiness Morning Day Church. God bless you to come in Jesus' name. Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic, which is located at 5 Martha Street, Savannah. We share our deepest condolences to, to the family of our late brother and friend, Brother Gilbert Holmes. 
Brother Onus was an active member of our church. His passion for the Lord was always obvious. Therefore, I know within our hearts that he is resting happily and rejoicing in union with our Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and friends, Brother Holis was a member of our church for over 30 long years. And I must say, I personally know him very well. Yes. He was a very committed brother in the Lord. He was an usher and he served with dignity to our organization. I know him as someone to be very assertive as he always did in our Sunday school. He had a caring heart for others and he lived a shining example for us as men in the church. And as the president of the Holy Spirit Party in the Church Life Department, he leave a positive impact on my life. From time to time after church, I always take it home. And I must see brothers and friends, brethren, and all you who are standing and sitting in front of me, he will be silent. He will live a good life. And I trust that the Lord is smiling in heaven at this time. The family see comfort in God's hearing eyes. I know it's tough. I know it's rough. But in closing, I must say on behalf of my pastor, Bishop Dr. Evan Nepal, and his wife, Evangelist Nepal, all the saints of our church, we share our grief and sympathy in the death of your loved one. May the Lord bless you and keep you together. At this time, I just have Sister Rochelle Parks will be doing a short tribute in some at this time. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Before I even sing, I can just let you guys know. Cheer on. I can share with you that Brother Holness was actually like an uncle to me. A lot of persons do not know this, but there were times when we used to visit him on a regular, like every other week or so. And the first thing he used to say when I walked through the, the gate was, you're not going to know it. <laughs> so it was, it was just to remind me that he was more than a church brother to me. He was, he was like that uncle that I never had. He was that one who I could actually sit and talk to. And I'm not sure if the family knows this, but like when I talk with him, when I share something with him, he said, eh, not true. <laughs> but he will be sadly missed. And for him to be blessed to be on earth for 92 years, you can know that God was bringing him. And I remember when we went, when I, I'm now living in Kingston, and I remember when we came down and I went to the, the home that he was. And when I saw him, tears came to my eyes. I was like, is this my uncle? My, my uncle that I never have, is this him? And I went up and I remember I sat beside him and he took a second glance at me and he was like, and I said, yeah, man, it's me, man, it's Russia. And he said, oh, man. Ah. And I was there and I fed him and I actually sat and we, we, we talked for a while until I got up and I was, I don't know, but I just felt the urge to just share a tear because it has been so many years that I haven't seen him. But I can just say, just keep on smiling, keep on being strong because as a family, I should let you know that 
God is pleased with his servant. And I'll be singing this song. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't want to from its sunshine. For his skies may turn to gray. I don't want to reorder the future. For I know what Jesus said. And today he walked beside him. For he knows what he
Thank you. 
have an assurance that we also shall rise. Amen. At some point, glory to God. Hallelujah. At this time, we may have in our eulogy, and this will be read by G. Wholeness, daughter of the deceased. God bless her as she comes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Diligently to provide for us and Mama 
Growing up, he always had a grow a grow or a garden. Very glad food. When we lived in Robert Penn, we lived land in Amity. Amity. Years after we moved to Bayless Avenue, he lived land in Atlanta to plant food. When we lived in Robert Penn, I remember he lived in the house before day. He rode his bike two and a half miles to Amity to either clean the land, to plant, or to harvest food. By daylight, he get home, and then he went to his burial job. When crab was in season, he went to crab bush. We wake up in the, in the morning to see crab jump in the drum outside. I was happy to help Mama take the crabs to make curry, crab and rice. He did not eat crab, but he was willing, he was willing to get us get out, out of his bed to provide for us. He, he became a frequent church goer later on in his life. He also liked to play dominoes with his colleagues. Papa was a man of high integrity. He was reserved, proud, and honest. He, we thank God for his long life of 91, 92, 92. So father, mother, less left us with the priceless wealth of knowing right from wrong, of honesty, and of having good moral values. Papa left us, left behind eight children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, a sister, Joyce Hornis, niece, nephews, and friends. Rest in peace, Papa. We we'll already love you.
not this time coming to us as our pastor and bishop. Max, you can just stand and give God thanks for him as he comes to us in Jesus' name.
when there will be no more funeral service. Hallelujah. The sun, God Almighty, is going to shine again. Let me extend greetings today uh, to the Almighty God who is the head of our lives, to our moderator and this all, Shakur. And with us today, sitting on the phones, we have a great man, Bishop Dr. Clean Mackey. Clean Mackey. And wife, Mark B. Thank you, sir. Amen. And wife with us. Amen. Coming out of the US of A. Uh, accompanied one of our, more than one of my cousins. <laughs> Amen. 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 He pastors them. And so it's good to have you come to Jamaica to accompany it. Amen. You're the newest one, right? All right, all right. Welcome back to Westmore. <laughs> Amen. I'm also a Westmore. <laughs> Amen. So it's good to have you here, sir. And to the members of the family of the late Mr. Mumis, Mass Gilbert. Papa, uh, Mr. Honis, and the name goes on. I am, um, should be sitting beside of you all. I've never privileged to see so much of my cousins. We could say first, second, and third cousins. Amen. Together at one place. Starting to know that it is this occasion of which we gather. But this is one thing that we do not have any control over. As the theology read that it was 15 years ago, right here, thank God I'm still here. And I'm the one that was privileged to conduct. Amen, mommies. Amen. Funeral service. One of my late aunt, Auntie Joan. Praise the name of the Lord. And so today we are here again to put away the remains of another great man. And when I say great, I could speak of myself because I've spent a lot of time around this gentleman. I, I know the feel in her. Has he had sick? Hamid Hamidi. I used to walk, go near, help him work, take home food, do all the friend kind of stuff. Because um, he was this person that, as long as you obedient to him, you don't have a problem with him. I didn't have a bad name to give to Mas Gilbert the years that I spent around him. And if the children eat, I am eating. And if they sleep in bed, I am sleeping likewise. That's the type of person you were to me. And so it is sudden to know that I have to, amen, standing here to put away the remains, but somebody will have to do it. Amen. I remember on several occasions I did business for him while the children wasn't far. I did business for him. We, I visited him and special certain occasion we sat and we talked was one thing about him, and the time he talked, a little bit too long, he started to cry. Amen. <laughs> and so, that's the type of person he was. But nevertheless, all of us have a little weak, weak spot in us. And so at times, we go there. It's good to see you all today. 
as I said before, I want to rec uh, recognize um, Peaches, and I speak of her specially because not just since Mass Gilbert is around, but even with Auntie Jonah, she had played such a great role. Amen, amen, this family. And of which I highly appreciate her. And I trust that you family members, amen, uh, let you feel comfortable. Amen, because she had done a great job. Amen. Let me say to you, from a natural point of view, a lot of times, I'm still living in Jamaica, but I had children in farm. And uh, let me just apologize for none of them being here today with me. But let me say, sometimes children away and somebody dedicated to take care of their family member. And so they send funds but they expect the whole world to accomplish out of the funds that they send. And sometimes some of them feel bad and so I feel upset. But what is more important is that persons go to the extreme to take care, to show love, and to show their appreciation, bless God, to the one who we have left behind here. And so I'm, I'm very grateful for her, and I'm saying in her presence, and I'm saying in your own presence, amen, as a member of the family, Amen. That God bless her. Yes. There could be others that I'm not really acquainted with. But let me speak of Peaches. She go to the last mile to see to it that things be taken care of. Without any flattery. She did it. And God is very pleased and I hope you are pleased likewise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord everybody. Praise the Lord everybody. So standing here today as a part of this family, I want to extend my deepest condolences on the behalf of my immediate family, the church family. As Shakuna said earlier on that we had a week of meeting that end we not even say last night this morning and so we've been here all week Bishop we've been here all week Amen and when it comes to us in worshiping we don't sit down and fall man we give God praise and so we are back in the house today, so this is the reason why you haven't seen, amen, much more of our brethren. Although some of them is not really acquainted with the deceased, amen, but other than that, most would be here. But well, I thank God for the representatives from Holy Miss Barn against Sabalan Mar. Praise the Lord. I know that. Amen. I know that Dr. Paul would be here today if it had, wasn't been for his meeting and he told us that today is one of the most you know busy day for him amen in service so he had was to send a representatives mass gilbert i know from my youth days up and most of what has been said, I can attest to them. He wasn't a person who say a lot, but when he speak, he stand profound. Amen? Praise the Lord. 
knew him working at the public works department, then public works, and uh, his years in service around those areas. Although he was living in Stavlamar, but most of these roads in these areas, he works at most of them. I used to be one of the messenger who, when my aunt was living with us up this side, used to go back and forth, take things on the Kingston bus yeah. to him. Yeah. Late hours at night, amen, those bus used to run late hours at night. And then I was saying to Tim, oh, <laughs> that, you know, reminding him of the days, Say to Lady, especially where they were living, amen, one of the time. My God, when you come out of the Kingston bus, amen, after 12, 1 o'clock in the night, and to get in that lane, you could hold the darkness. But I've been there. And thank God I'm not ashamed. And I'm glad for that which I have done. Today, time would not afford me to say just about everything. But I trust that you, us, take a page out of his life. The good thing about everything, he had given his life to the Lord. Amen. Amen. In spite of what he did back then, and he used to do, and did all those things and had not given his life to the Lord, then he would be the one that would reap the benefit at the end of the day. Could us give God a praise in that? I want to bring to us a word from the book of St. John's. Speak a uh, concern a situation and also about a man, a particular man that Jesus had encounters with. St. John 11 and a few verses says to us if we read from the 25th down it says here that Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Oh God. He said, Believest thou this. Oh God. Then she said unto him, Yes, God, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went her way and called near her sister secretly, saying, The Lord is come and calling for thee. Father, we thank you today for our word. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless the lives and the heart of these young people in Jesus' name. I, if you notice over there on the wall, our youth week theme says that living righteously, rising victoriously. We had an example as Jesus spoke concerning this great man that is called Lazarus. The Bible teaches that he was a friend of Jesus. And Jesus was a friend of Lazarus. And so it goes on that at a point Jesus was told that his friend is sick. As we would have normally do, we try our best to see how we could visit our friends 
while he or she is sick, just to show our appreciation that yes, I'm here for you. And so, as our sister had said, that she leave Kingston and she go to uh, the home where he was staying. And uh, when she reckon, I mean, could have identified herself because she learned that her uncle, per se, is not doing well. And so he was highly appreciated her coming to see him. Jesus was told that Lazarus is sick. Glory to God. But to the eyes and the minds of the others, he said, Jesus didn't take it for anything. Come on here. Hallelujah. And you ever bring a message to somebody about a certain situation and the way that they react? It's about you. This person doesn't really understand what I'm saying. I don't care about what I'm saying. How come he's taking it so simple? I am glory to God. But Jesus know what his creator was doing. He knew what he wanted to do. Had he shown at that time that the miracle would not take place. Glory to God. Because most likely Lazarus would have been healed from sickness. But Jesus wanted to take it Come on here, somebody. I say this to say that a lot of us want miracle to work in our lives, but we won't serve God. We expect Bishop that when we seek God, we instantly lay your hand upon you and you recover. Some of us promise God, say, God, if you heal me, I might serve you. But as soon as you come back together, you come back to square one. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible says, many of us shall, we shall take many, many soon. Yes, and shall not be healed. Yes. Because we don't trust in the bar in Gideon. Yes. We don't trust in the mighty position. Hallelujah. But guess what? I'm going now. Hallelujah. I'm going now, bless God, that I may wake him. Oh, glory to God. I'm going, bless God, that I may wake him. If I tell you that I'm going down to the cemetery to wake up Mr. Holiness, you're going to say, I'm going you now if I don't be going back to you now. Hallelujah. I'm going with you. You're alone, Tempo. But Jesus said, I'm going to wake him. Somebody among him even said, well, right, the only reason why I'm here go is to, is to see what's going to happen to him. But here, when you live righteously, you will be able to rise up victoriously. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ah, the Bible told us that in the beginning when God made man, a man was placed into a, a position to take care. Man was innocent. Nothing wrong with man. But there comes a time when the, the enemy crept in and intervened into situation and said, well, God know that the day you eat of it, your eyes shall open and not only open, but you shall be wise as God, knowing good from evil. These are the good stuff that folks want to hear today. These are the things that folks want to indulge into today. And nobody wants to live righteously. So death pronounced that fall upon man. Yes. And death was pronounced. And so because of that, men were able to live. Bless God, men live up to nine, nine, six to nine. 
But because of sin, our lives had been cut short to two scores and ten. Oh God, but my trick was a ten, but my reason of strength went to four score. And so today, this God, as the moderator said, that Mr. Moon is, was blessed. Amen. I said to somebody the other day, Amen, a person who lives 75, I was committing a body, and I was saying that this person lived to 75. I said that the West in this team, they have a couple guys on the team who could back the score of 75. They would have been able to win most of the matches. But bless God because they have been limited down to 10, to 15, and to 20. And so they lost their matches. But God Almighty, many of us in here today, we are blessed and highly favored to know that God has kept us up until this time. But what are we doing now to show to God that we appreciate His goodness? We live violently. We live righteously. We live ungodly. We live all different kind of lifeless God that suited us uh, and not knowing that the very bread that we blew uh, it don't belong to us. But Jesus said, show me where you're laying. Oh God Almighty. Ah, the sisters of the Lord, it is for that. By this, Anybody in here get chronic into some lifestyle that they are living? Anybody get chronic into a situation that you are living? God come in your path, bless God, to, to release you of your situation. But you will have to cry out and acknowledge to God that I've been in a long time. I need some breakthrough. Can somebody wave your hand again and praise God today? Woo! The gods are for And by this, the body must be decomposing. Because in the Jewish calendar, when I die, uh, the spirit that's God, even who was around in the term of three days, it is there. And then seeking the best God entry to go back into the carcass. Uh, but if three days pass uh, and it doesn't get in there, then it's over. So Jesus did not went. Uh, he didn't go the first day. Uh, he didn't go the second day. Uh, he didn't go the third day. Uh, but he went down the fourth day. Uh, when he knew that things out of man control uh, and out of man expectation, uh, he should have come. Uh, You don't believe it in me. <laughs> Somebody said, well, oh, I didn't know I should have seen my brother again. Mm, because, you know, after a certain time, he could have been resurrected. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection. And I'm the life. He that believeth on me, though you are dead, yet shall he live. My talk to somebody today is that, even when Mary, Martha saw Jesus come in, and God, she goes to Mary, and she said to Mary, Mary the master calling for me. Is there a Mary in the house today that knows God, that your name has been called, and your name has been called? Is there a Mary in the house that the master wants to take of his abode in the lives? Too many people doing their own thing. Too many people doing what they choose to do and what they want to do. But I want to remind us that there coming a time when 
the dead in Christ will rise. Hallelujah. Ah, the dead in Christ going to rise. So as we sing the song, the sun shall shine again. It doesn't consist of the one on the outside. Woo, God Almighty. They're talking about when the change going to take place. God. The Apostle Paul said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, by the trumpet of God shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those of us that live and remain, we are going to be a change. The time that we are into it is too critical. Yes. The time that we are into it is too troublesome. Yes. If anybody making themselves comfortable here, you're making a mistake. Hallelujah. You build yourself castles. You build yourself mansion. And yet you are not safe. Yet you are not comfortable. But I want to invite you to establish a mansion in God. The Bible says I'm setting up uh, spiritual material uh, to build up a spiritual house uh, because I want to be risen uh, in the first resurrection uh, when the trumpet of God uh, shall sound uh, and the dead in Christ shall rise. I want to be the first one. Because the second one had no power. And anybody in here today want to be in the first resurrection? Brother Boy, as a fiction at the call, we have the assurance that he got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in having the Holy Ghost, uh, he had what it take, takes. Uh, oh God Almighty. Uh, I said he had what it takes uh, to be in the first resurrection. Uh, a plane can't take off uh, if it is not properly serviced uh, and have certain amount of power for him to take off. Uh, and so does God Almighty. Uh, when the Spirit of God uh, indwell into our mortal body, uh, Lord Jesus and mercy. It doesn't matter if you put him in the law and three other remains on top of him. When the trumpet of God sound, no grave, no supposed, no concrete can hold his body down. Mm. We have folks today say, well, Ah, you can cremate my body. Throw away the body. Especially if there's something I see. And use it as God for some form of uh, figure or something that you will look at. Somebody will see it and know that this is Bishop Mambi. Glory to God. But ladies and gentlemen, you could easily well die out in the sea. Eh? Look over the country the name, where they might kill off one another. Look the amount of people who die. Tell me how much of them get a funeral service. They got mass grief. Those that they found, they got mass grief. Hallelujah. They had their relative right. Would that prevent them from going to kingdom? I want to hear somebody talk to me here. Are they living righteously? And they die in tragedy. Would that stop them from going into the kingdom? No! Because when the trumpet song, yes. God Almighty, hey, the dead in Christ, they're going to be risen up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking to you from the word of God. In Revelation 6, I think, uh, the Bible told us uh, about the wrath of God, uh, the judgment of God, uh, and uh, the soup and uh, turn into blood, uh, and all kinds of disaster going to happen. Uh, and when the wicked man uh, saw what was about to happen, uh, they cried out to the rocks. 
And they go to the mountain. And they say, follow landing. Because I am running from the wrath of the Almighty God. But the rock cried out. The rock cried out. The rock cried out. I said, look man, may I hide to you? May I seek hiding place? It is appropriate now to hide in God. Death has a time to steal us away, ladies and gentlemen. It's not how what we choose or how we choose. But it is God appointed. But nevertheless, Jesus said, I am come that he may have life, may have it much more abundantly. There is life in Christ Jesus. I said there is life in Christ Jesus. Because tell you what, because folks say after me dead, me done. The devil is a liar. There is a life after death that everyone will have to come back to give an account to God for the things that they have done while they were, while they were occupying here. Yes, Cut your throat if you like. Yes. Put a rope around your throat if you like. Put a gun to your breast if you like. But when God calls, when God gets ready, you're going to have to come back to face the deed that you have done while you occupy this life. So I'm encouraging you today, especially young people. Yes. We have gone by. We have get out of hand. And we thought that we make ourselves. And we can do just about everything. That time, few days gone. A different days now. Hallelujah. But God never changed. Tell me something here. I said, God, don't change. The same God of yesterday is the same God today. And the same only can keep your man. He can keep your miss. It's the same way God can keep everybody. Even if you don't have to do what the devil tells you to do. It's time for you to give your life to God. The Bible says, seek him while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his ways. Let a righteous man is part. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercies. Upon whom he will abundantly pardon. The master is calling for you. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Right into a funeral service, you could have said it was. Amen. The 6th, Amen. Of April 2024. Oh God Almighty, I surrender my life to the Lord. Oh glory to God. Listen to me folks, we got to understand that Amen Job said, the worm destroyed this body of mine, but he know that in his flesh he's going to see God again. And some people thought that when you accept God, your life is done. Life just begins. Because a life without God is not virtual living. But when you live a life with the Lord, that's what matters. And then bless you today, my friends and brethren. Let us not weep as those that didn't have hope. Amen. But hope is in this casket. Hallelujah. I say, hope is in this casket. Oh, glory to God. Hope is in this casket. Because what is in this casket? See God while he was alive. Bless God and allow God to be his savior. And so hope is in this casket. What about those, bless God, that very well be buried in casket of gold and silver? And all your name it, bless God, and there's no hope. That is going down there. What will your answer be? 
see God before it is too late. Call your body in wise name and let us forsake our wicked ways and return to the Lord. God bless you. Thank you very much. That's right. You can give the Lord a praise by just slapping your hands again. Come on. God is good. All the time and all the time God is good. You have heard the word. If many of you have heard this much, it would be a good thing to all them. All they heard, yet 40 days and then you should be overthrown. And they repented. God have mercy. Once you have life, you have hope. Yes. And don't follow people talking things that is contrary to scriptures. Because everything is in the book of record. In this manual, it tells us how life must be lived. Is that all right, everybody? Yes. Amen. And those who thought they cremate their body, God won't have anything to deal with after. But I remind you of one thing that is true. If you want to find out the truth about that, go back at the beginning, Genesis. He found man from the dust of the earth. So if you cremate yourself and have a little battle of dust, and have a little box of dust, guess what you just done? You just make it easier for God. I'm not talking about it. Even if you don't give a hard time to get back together, you just make it easier for him. That's what he's socializing. Make him man from dust. What a God. Come on, someone say, what a God. Woo! You can't get around it. You got to go through it. God bless you. God bless you. All right, so at this time, our Bishop, uh, McBeat, is going to come to pray the prayer for the uh, grief family. God bless you. God bless you, Bishop. Thank you so much. Thank you for that word, that practical word, uh, Bishop. Amen. Reminding us, giving us the principles to live righteously. Let us see the word. Let me just take a minute, sir, just to say relationships are important. Relationships are the bedrock, the foundation on which we build our lives, and they help us in critical times. Interestingly, I was born in Whitmore, and I grew up in Delta. And uh, I met uh, Deacon Lloyd Holness and his wife, Reverend Jacqueline Holness, and their children in the United States of America. But while talking to him, he told me that his father worked for Public Works Department. And he knew my dad was Isaac, we call him Costa Squire McBee. And uh, he worked, worked um, for the Public Works Department. And also, the man who fathered me spiritually, the Lord, Frank Samuels. He will be 92 this year, I'm going to see him tomorrow. And when I think, sitting there, I think of how God brings people together. Yeah. You know, and I just want to remind us, let us take time to appreciate the people that God has placed in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Our relationship with God is foremost, but there are people around us that God has set them in place to pray for us, to comfort us, and to support us in critical times. Let us build strong and healthy relationships. Because you meet people from your own history who are part of your history in other places. Would you stand with me as I accept the family members as I pray this for you? Does Jesus care when my heart is pain? So lonely for murder or song as the burden press and the Here's the stress, and the way it seems dreary and long. Thank you for the assurance, Lord, you care. Your heart is touched with our grief. When the days are weary and the long nights dreary, we know our Savior cares. Father, we lift before you today your children, the wholeness family. God, we thank you for them. Thank you for the fact, God, that for 92 years, you gave some of them a father, a grandfather, a great-grandfather, an uncle, a friend, and a brother. 
Thank you for the impact that he has had, oh God, and those around him. But now, Father, this place is missing. You have chosen to take him home. But God, even though he was advanced in age, the family loved him. And Father, there's a boy. But we know, oh God, that you have the ability to step into our situation. And you fill and you fill that boy. And so we ask now, in the name of Jesus, that your arms will be extended to the family. That you will strengthen them. That you will uphold them with the right hand of your righteousness. God, we pray, oh God, that when they are by themselves, when all of their friends are gone, God, they are left alone to reflect, God, upon the role that dad played in their life and grandpa played in their life. That God, you would strengthen them and that you help them to cast their cares on you because you cares for them. Lord, if there be any member of the family who do not know Jesus Christ as their personal savior, I pray above all things today, Father, that they would have heard the word to live righteously so that they can rise victoriously. And so now we pray that the Holy Spirit that brings conviction would convict them of sin today. And even before, oh God, the body of your dad or granddad or great-granddad goes into the ground, that that family member who does not know Jesus would say yes to his Lordship. Thank you for your servant to bring the word today. We pray that you'll strengthen him. Guide us now as we go to the place where Brother Gilbert will be laid to rest. Eternal God, you are our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. So we thank you for the strength of the family and we ask for your covering now as we leave through Jesus Christ, his son. Amen. Thank you so very much, Bishop. Amen. All right, Beverly, do you do session at him? We ask that you don't leave yet. We are not done yet. All right. All right. So we are going to do the recession on him and the last verse. We ask the call bearers to come and the personal party will take the march down and the casket behind and then the family behind the casket and the well wishes come behind. Amen, everybody? Is that clear, everybody? All right, so the reception of him. All right, um, just a brief transition. Remember, on behalf of the family, requested that after they determined that there will be repast right at this assembly upstairs at the canteen. So after you return from the gray side, you come right up here. Let me say this again. The journey is not far. Just a few blocks down the road. So if you need to stretch your leg, you could just walk it down. Amen. It's the, you don't have a, a, a parking place on the car. You're going to have to leave off the road and walk in a little journey. So if you don't have to drive down there, you don't have to. But please remember that you need to go back here. Uh, thank you very much. God bless you. Resources are in the end in the great triumphant morning. In the great triumphant morning, when we hear the bridegroom cry, and in the day in Christ shall rise, we'll be changed to life eternal.
Watch me now.
Somebody go over the side. Come on, 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 Okay. All right. Up. Come on. 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 Come Anybody else? Is that what to take a final look or You don't know when that should die. You were a man. You don't know. Anybody want to come and take a look? Final look? The okay. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Go on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're ready to, to move on. Ready to move on. Alright, um, for those of you who have your program in your hand, let us turn to the gray side. Okay. A blessing, a blessing, a man. Wow. All right, all right. Turn to your program on the grave side. Uh, sing the one just love of Jesus. Let me sing the first and the second verse, and then I allow the body. Sing the one just love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. The mansion bright and blessed, he'd prepare for us a place, the course when we all get to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion bright. 
bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. Second verse, while we walk, while we walk the pilgrim pathway, God will overspread the sky. But when troubling days are over, not a shadow, not a sign. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout for victory. All right, um, we're going to allow the casket to be lowered. And so please, um, when I said down, that's time to go. Lord, make me to know my end. The measure of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. In the midst of life, we are in debt. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord. Who for our sins are just to displeased. You can start with Nick. Man that is born of a woman, love a few days, full of trouble, he's cut down like a flower. And, and continue it not. Thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our heart. Shut not thy merciful ears unto our prayer. Somebody give me something in my hand. Mm. Something in my hand. No, this can't work. We need something. All right, thank you, sir. Oh, no, not flowers, no, unless it is separated. This man already has flowers. All right. For as much as the spirit of the parted had returned to the God who gave it, we therefore commit this body to the ground Dust to dust, ashes to ashes, oh God. Looking for the coming of the Lord when he, he himself shall descend from heaven with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the ear. So shall we ever be with the Lord. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. And from henceforth ye set the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow. If you bow here with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, one more time we come to you by giving you thanks, Lord, for your son. That you allow to be, oh God, on this planet earth for 90 and 2 years. God, at this time, Lord, you have no call back, Lord, for his spirit. And so, God, we ask that we say thanks. Thanks for bringing him here and for keeping him here. Thanks, Lord, for receiving him. At this point, God, we commend him into your hand. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Your will be done as we do say thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, workmen. You can proceed now by doing whatever you have to do. Let us return to our songbook. Get your first All right. All right, let us return to a program. Uh, when we all get to heaven, you can't jump in. what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing. 
and shout for victory. The, the third verse, so let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serve him every day. Trust one leaves of him in glory, while the tide of life repay. Let us sing it together. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving, day by day. The swan a glint of him in glory, by the fire of life we pray, when we all get to heaven, while the day of rejoicing that will be, when we all sing Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. On earth to the Christ before us, though his beauty will be known. So the pearly gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day When we all Say, Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory when we all get to heaven. What a day! Thank God when we all say, Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. Praise God when we all say Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory. All right, praise the Lord, everybody. Anybody working to go to heaven? I'm going to walk those streets of glory. No grave cannot hold my body down. Amen. And so let us do our voices together as we start to sing these choruses. Better day than price. Evan, Evan, when will you go so far? When will you go so far? In the sky, sorrow will be over. Joy will come at last. Better days are coming. Oh, bye. Come on, everybody. Better days are coming. Ah, yeah. When we reach the city, in the sky.
Seed of glory, high We're going to walk the street of glory. We are going to sing redemption story. We're going to walk the street of glory, high and high. We're going to walk the street of glory, high and high. Oh, bless the Lord. We're going to walk the street of glory, high and high. Yeah, we're going to walk the street of glory. Oh, we're going to walk the street of glory. Yeah, we're going to walk the street of glory. Day by and by. Day by and by. Day by and by. Walk the street of glory. Yeah. By and by, when the morning comes, we know the same of God. Oh, we will tell the story. We have we see we will understand. Oh, if you don't find me, you know that I'm gone. If you 